Hey, this is Eric Gaxtetter at the 2012 ESRI International User Conference with GeospatialSolutions.com and GPS World Magazine. I'm talking with Joe Sass, Field Applications Engineer for Spectra Precision, powered by Aztec. Joe, great Hi, to see you. Eric, nice to see you. Thanks. What do you have to show us here at the conference this week? So this year we're uh, showing the Mobile Mapper 100 mm -hmm. and the Mobile Mapper 10. Okay. Both of these are ruggedized field data collectors for mm -hmm. uh, GIS work. Mm -hmm. They're both running Windows Mobile 6.5 and they both are running Esri's uh, ArcPad. So this is a uh, real-time um, submeter unit using WAS okay. and it also has the ability to get real-time corrections, RTK corrections and work down to the centimeter. And by WAS you all could use uh, European Egno system, Agno Japan's MSAS, mm -hmm. India's GAN system, right? Yep, yep. Okay. we're compatible with all the major uh, um, SBAS systems in the world. Okay. But we can also do RTK corrections, so we can work in a VRS, or mm -hmm. we can work in any of the real-time networks that are um, uh, developing throughout the world and being deployed. Okay. And even in, in my hand, I can resolve an ambiguity, get an RTK fixed solution down to a couple of centimeters. Wow. Now, so, is it single frequency or dual frequency? You have your choice on the Mobile Mapper 100. You can either get GPS L1, mm -hmm. GPS L1 and L2, mm -hmm. or GLONASS L1 and GPS L1. Okay. So the point on this is this unit is it's highly scalable. Yes. Okay. I can start at a lower price point and scale it up as my budget allows, or I can buy it with all the bells and whistles from the start. And that's using the internal antenna. No need for an external antenna, right? Well, Although there is the option. So, I mean, the face center is somewhere up here, and I can't really have a, a reference point. Certainly. So if you want a centimeter solution, we recommend you use something like this uh, external antenna, mm -hmm. the cable attached, and that will get you down to the survey grade centimeter, but okay. you're still running a GIS application. Yes. So it's very high precision GIS. High, high accuracy GIS, yep. right? How so, about the Mobile Mapper 10? So the Mobile Mapper 10 is a less expensive model. Real time, it's probably one to two meter accuracy. Mm -hmm. We do have the ability to collect raw data, we can post-process that raw data um, in our office software, Mobile Mapper Office, mm -hmm. and we can get down to about 50 centimeters okay. in, in a post-processing environment. All right. Um, again, Windows Mobile 6.5, so we're running uh, ESRI's ArcPad. Aztec also, or Spectra Precision powered by Aztec, we also have our own GIS program called Mobile Mapper Field, mm -hmm. and that can be run on these uh, devices as well. Highly intuitive, very easy. Uh, as I was telling someone earlier, it's a mobile mapper field is a GIS program for a geologist. Mm -hmm. You know, right, someone that's right. not a GIS professional doesn't understand shape files and and geo databases. We have a very easy GIS program that just allows them to very intuitively go out there and collect the features in the field they need. Very good. Hey, thanks for your time, Joe. Yep, great talking to you, Eric. Nice right. seeing you. Bye bye.